G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon and I'm here to show you how you can edit photos using RadLab in Photoshop Elements. So here we see the message about the RadLab launcher. You can see it up there. And there's a bit of information there about it. Wait for Photoshop to load up. And let's choose a photo to work on. I'm going to just open up a photo that I really love that needs a little bit of editing. And first off I'm just going to do a little bit of cloning to get rid of this stain on Emily's dress here just by using the spot healing tool. I'm going to save it as a new file. It's a PSD. And I'm going to click open RadLab. I'm going to use a new layer so that I can always get back to my original. Now you can see we've got some basic styles here and you, as you mouse over them you can see the effects they'll have on the photo. I do like the edge blur there. Just going to reduce the strength a little bit so it's not quite so blurry and move it out so it only affects the edge of the photo. As you see if I move it away, Emily's face becomes clearer. Like the Easy Burn, that gives a bit of a vignette. I'm happy with how that looks too. And you can see we can keep working through. And if at any time we decide we don't want the effect we've currently got, we can just turn them on or off here. You can also use recipes. I've downloaded a recipe Baby Brights and I just simply click on import, browse the file and click open and it loads the file. I do like that one so I click on it to add it to the layer um, list. You can see that instead of like what we had before which was just one item this baby bright recipe uses three different styles I had my edge blur and my easy blur so we're just going to reduce the area of the edge blur and the easy burn would you like to learn more about Photoshop Elements 11? Head over to digitalscrapbookinghq.com for tutorials, workshops and more.